now in this session we are going to talk about trees okay so let us see what a tree is okay tree is defined simply as a connected graph with no cycles okay so that is a tree so the example over here could be let us suppose these are my vertices okay then this particular graph is a tree because over here i do not have any circles okay so let us call this as g1 then i am going to say g1 is a tree okay what is not a tree something that has cycles okay so if you have something like this then this is not a tree okay let us put g2 and we are going to say g2 is not a tree because of the cycle okay so what cycle are we talking about we are talking about let us assume i call this a b c d e and f then it is not a tree because of the cycle a b c d a okay so that was a simple definition of tree another definition of a tree is it is a graph in which there exists a unique path between any two pair of vertices okay so i'm just going to make a statement a tree has a unique path between any two pair of vertices why is it so because we do not have cycles that means we always have a unique path okay so let us suppose you want to go from e to b okay then over here you can have two paths you can go like this or you can go like this right but this is due to fact that we have a cycle okay in this particular case if you want to go from here to here you can only take one path okay there is no other way for you to go if there had been something like this then you could have gone like this but that would have resulted in a cycle okay in this particular cycle therefore we say in a tree we always have a unique path between any two or between any pair of vertices okay a pair in itself is two vertices okay between any pair of vertices another theorem that we have relevant to trees is for any tree with n number of vertices it has n n minus 1 edges okay so let me make another statement a tree with n vertices has n minus 1 edges okay so if you check out this particular tree how many vertices does it have 1 2 3 4 5 okay and how many edges 1 2 3 and 4 so as you can see it has five vertices and 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4 edges okay and this is true for every tree okay and why do we say it must have n minus 1 edges we say it because we have defined a tree as a connected graph okay and if you want to ensure that your graph is connected and it is having n vertices okay let us suppose i am talking about a graph having four vertices okay and i want to create a connected graph out of it then the minimum number of edges required would always be n minus 1 that is why my tree has n minus 1 edges okay let us suppose i make an edge 